Burma has only recently opened its gates to outsiders. We're seeing what I consider the real Burma. And I feel very blessed that we are able to come here at a time when tourism is in its infancy. It's taking you into another world, another culture, something totally different. To so these wonderful places where we can see and experience things that never in my lifetime would I ever imagine I could ever see and do. On a journey to explore the banks of the Irrawaddy River. What treasures await you? From the 9th to the 13th centuries, Bagan was the capital of the kingdom. At the height of this kingdom's power and glory, over 10,000 Buddhist temples, pagodas, and monasteries were constructed in the Bagan Plains alone. We're looking at all the temples out there as far as we can see, as many as you can count and more. <laughs> Although the pictures don't quite do it justice, you really have to see it to believe it. He put the yeast in there, that's why you get a... Oh, so you get a smell of that. Huh? Beer, palm beer, we call sky beer, because from up the trees. Burmese sky beer is made by collecting sap from a flower cut high up in the palm tree. The white liquid retrieved from these heights is very sweet. Yeast is then added and the flower sap ferments to become beer. He climbed up the tree to get the palm juice and he goes up and down a couple times a day and it was pretty amazing <laughs> to watch him go up and go down. We're visiting a very local village um, with, that's pretty primitive but the people are happy and the kids have a school. It's just so much fun to see their way of life and, and their animals and their homes. That's the way they live. The Pauken is a custom fit 34 passenger vessel designed and constructed in 2012 to navigate the waters of the Irrawaddy River. The ship is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. The cabins are well appointed, the dining room's delightful, and the crew, oh my goodness, they're just charming. I had never, ever seen the care and attention that we have seen on this ship. The fact that you come ashore with people also to help us, you have been exceptional and we are most grateful. Many, many thanks. But what is so nice about being on this ship is that we can experience the life on the river. You know, you can sit in your cabin or you can sit up on the deck and you see the world go by on the river. I sit on that balcony the whole time, uh, reading, uh, just watching what's going on on the shore. And, you know, I feel like we're, we're watching something that's been going on for literally thousands of years. I mean, the, the, the whole life of this nation revolves around the Iowati River, and, uh, and we're seeing it. So, you know, you just feel like you're moving with civilization on this river. The Mahamuni Buddha Temple is one of Mandalay's Buddhist pilgrimage sites. This 13-foot-tall Buddha is so venerated, it's been covered with six inches of gold leaf, applied over the years by Buddhist devotees. The Shwenanda Monastery was built by King Minden in the 19th century and is known for its teak carvings of Buddhist myths, which adorn its walls and roofs. I guess the amazing thing is the craftsmanship that goes into them, whether it's, you know, gold filigree or teak carving. I mean, we heard that Burma was the land of 10,000 temples. Well, I, we certainly believe that now. It's novel, it's different, the people, the scenery. I'll tell you, it's exotic. You'll see a lot of things you'll never see anywhere else. I just don't want it to be over. <laughs>
Burma, from Bagan to Mandalay. Meet the people and their pace of life on the Irrawaddy River while exploring this once hidden land of pagodas. <laughs>